Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This is a question from Charles Roth, Fundamentals of Logic Design, 7th edition, chapter 11, 4th, uh, 4E. This is the exercise. Okay. So you can find this question. Now the question is saying that this is the circuit that is given to you. So in this circuit, we have a D flip flop, which is positive edge triggered. You can notice. So this D flip flop is positive edge triggered and you can notice this output of D flip flop is input of this inverter and output of the inverter is input of this D flip flop. Okay. And the question is saying the propagation delay of the inverter is given to you, which is 1.5 nanosecond. The propagation delay whole time setup time of flip flop is given to you 3.5 nanosecond, 1 nanosecond, 2 nanosecond respectively. Now what is the shortest clock period of the circuit? The question is asking what is the shortest clock period of the circuit which will not violate any timing constant basically uh, okay so this this shortest clock period should not violate any timing issue means it should not violate setup time whole time okay anything okay so basically this is the question now let's solve this question very simply we have already seen actually this question so this is your circuit and in this circuit uh, this is the d flip flop this is the input d this is the output q and this output is actually connected to inverter and this is applied here and basically this is our clock okay so this is the positive this is our clock now let us see what will happen we have already seen that okay so this is your rising edge and so on so this is the, this is the clock now you can notice this is the rising edge this is the rising edge what will happen here between these two you can notice what will happen here so you can notice so before this before every rising edge already the input is available because the setup time is given to you you can notice the setup time is 2, two nanosecond okay so because the setup time is given what it means that before this rising edge input is already available so this input is available here before this rising edge okay now when this rising edge comes at that time what will happen okay so when this rising edge will arrive at that time what will happen so at that time first you will have the propagation delay of the flip-flop so there will be propagation delay of the flip-flop okay and after that what will happen so after, okay at this point of time you can notice that q will be stable at this time at this point of time the output of the flip-flop will be stable so this output will be stable and now this output will be input of the inverter now you can notice the inverter delay will happen okay so now the inverter the delay of the inverter will happen the propagation delay of the inverter will happen now okay uh, at this point of time i can say that input of input of this input d will be stable for the next clock age okay so i can say at this point of time what i can say at this point of time you can notice input d is stable input d is stable for next clock age for next for next rising age i can say for next age this will be the up uh, this will be available correct okay now you can notice setup time is already given to you so before this next age comes okay before this next rising age comes okay i can say that this this input is ready here at this point of time the input is ready at this point of time our input is ready but i am saying that okay i can say at least at least this input must be ready at least ts setup time okay so this input must be ready at least ts amount of time earlier before then uh, this rising is okay so finally what will be the clock period so you can notice the clock period what will be the answer the clock period means tp okay that will be greater than or equal to so this clock period you can notice from here to here from this rising edge to this rising edge okay so this is the clock period you can notice okay so this is the clock period and this from here to here okay from here to here so this is the clock period and this clock period is nothing but flip flop plus okay uh, the delay of the flip flop what is the what is the delay of the flip flop then what is the delay of the inverter and then what is the what is the setup time of the flip flop okay so i can say this will be propagation delay of the flip flop plus propagation delay of the inverter and plus setup time of the flip flop okay so finally this tp this will be equal to what is the propagation delay this is already given to you propagation delay of the inverter is given 1.5 propagation delay of the flip flop is given 3.5 so we can just put this value here 3.5 plus 1.5 plus 2 and finally i can say tp is greater than or equal to so this will be 7 nanosecond so tp means this clock period must be greater than or equal to 7 nanosecond 
okay and what is the minimum tp what is the minimum clock period so the minimum clock period will be equal to 7 nanosecond so what is the maximum clock frequency what is the maximum clock frequency that will be 1 divided by okay so that will be 1 divided okay 1 by 7 gigahertz okay so this will be the answer you can just check it out very simple question and the answer will be 7 nanosecond okay okay